Alright ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's just get right into it, man. 2K today. That's what we're gonna call the show, 2K Today. Look, the game is in shambles. I very much understand that there are a lot of things that they were testing out in the game. I very much understand that there are a lot of things that are going on surrounding the game. I even understand that there's not a lot that we can do about a lot of the things that are in the game. But listen to me. This is unacceptable. What you're watching right now is the L of the day. The L of the day is me. I am the L of the day on 2K today. Why? Because I can't play the game. I want to play the game, but if I play a game and win, I get kicked out. I play a game and lose, I get kicked out. I play a game and really do anything, I get kicked out. I get blue screened. If I if I try to go to my court, if I touch my phone, I get blue screened in the park. Is the, there's just too many bugs in the game for this game to be a final product. I just simply don't understand why this is the case. Right here, we tried to play Wreck. Do you know how many times it took for me to just get in so that we could play the Wreck, to play this Wreck game? I had to come in and try everything. I tried going to the cages. I tried, you know, doing other stuff, going to my court. I went in the Gatorade, behind the Gatorade counter and all that good stuff, man. Nothing worked. If I pull my phone out, it just dies. It just, my, my, my joint just blue screens. And then here's my boy Coyote saying, you know, he, he, he wanted to tell me something. And, uh, you know, let, let me know. He said he's just going to hit me up on Twitter. I'm just like, I right, bet. He seen me blue screen. Like prior to this, I had blue screen like like maybe 30 times tonight on my stream. I can't even stream the game. I mean, I go to my court. Most of the time, nine times out of 10, I'm, I'm going to get blue screen. I don't understand why people are saying this because of the of the of the uh list of your, your, your what do you call it uh of your of your uh your friends list but that's not a that's not a good excuse that's not an excuse that i'm willing to accept it just does not make any sense that a game a triple a, a triple a game and most people can't even play it i know that there's a lot of people that can't even play the game like i understand that you have to that you have to do things like tuning and all of that stuff but what's the point of tuning making sure people can't glitch and and doing other stuff if you can't even play the game the only thing i done maxed out my badge has done everything because all i can play is my career i'm tired of my career and even in my career i blue screen out of that sometimes i have to go back and play that again some people say it's because there's too many people on your friends list playing 2k that's not an acceptable excuse it is what it is man but look these are the things. Let me just let's let's, let's just get right into everything, man. And we just gonna talk about some stuff. Now, I'm just gonna give y'all some tidbits and all that. First thing, the speed is back down to normal in the park. I don't really know what that really means because it's just like I I don't know, man. It's like defense feels so slippery in the park. Like you can't catch up with anybody. You can't body him up. You can't attach. Like it's, it really feels like a lot of badges in this game are really made just for just for my career because you you it's really difficult to body somebody up even if you got hall of fame clamps you can't body people up not not like you're gonna want to and then like people that don't have pickpocket they just reach 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 and they're giving them the steal whether you have tight handles which does absolutely nothing but whether you have um unpluckable or not it really doesn't make a difference that part aside I mean, the game is actually a good game, but you know, like I said, Rex is still getting stuck. You saw that already. Um, you, your speed is back to normal. Uh, I, I just don't know what to tell you, man. Phone blue screen still here. You're seeing that, and that's what I'm talking about. That was one of the first things I was talking about. Um, I, I really don't know. Blue screens in my court. <laughs> These are the things that are that that are that are just bad. Like, like just can't you just can't even deal with. Oh my God, man! Look, you can't change a takeover. Um, all that stuff, man. Like, what, what, what are we supposed to do? Those are the things that I have that are problems with the game. There are some good things with the game too, and I'm okay with. And I really like the changes, but you can't really experiment with anything if you can't really figure out what's going on. There's some things in the game like this. You can challenge files now. It's something that's in the game. That's in the real game, and it's in this game too. I had a couple of times when I was playing the game, 
after a file, after somebody commits a file, all you have to do, hit the start button. It's gonna ask you, do you want to call a timeout or if you want to call, a, if you want to challenge the uh, challenge the play. You get one of these per game in my career. If I'm not grinding my career, how do I know this? I bet I bet the the most crazy my career head don't even know about this. You can challenge plays, hit it, it'll pop up, it'll say challenge to play. You challenge to play nine times out of ten, you go, it's gonna get overturned because the computer calls bogus files all the time. I had footage of this, but I wanted to show you this right here where I keep getting blue screen where I'm taking the L of the day because it is what it is. Badge progression is now different. Listen, you know how they say you can change your badges when you get to 95? That's not exactly true. You can change your badges once you get that badge category maxed out. So let's say I had three finishing badge points. Once I get my three finishing badge points, I can put them anywhere I want to. I can change it as much as I want to. I can do anything I actually want to once I max out that badge category. So if you get 20, 20 defensive badges like I get, I couldn't move them as often as I wanted to until I got all 20. But I had three finishing um, three finishing badge points, so I was able to do that. As soon as I got those three finishing badge points, I was able to do it. So that's something new. I think that's awesome in the game. I'm not gonna cut this video either because it's like six o'clock in the morning and I'm just, I, it just is what it is. One thing I want to see as a change in the game, I want to see records in the game under the bar. I, I don't see why, like that doesn't help people not run from you. To me, if I can see the record, it gives me an idea of what I'm going against. I mean, I guess it really doesn't enhance my, my ability to play the game or do anything like that, but I just want to see the records before I play somebody. Like once you're on the spot and the game begins, you can't run at that point. Nobody's going to be running from anybody. People are already running right now. It's like if you don't got a center, the game is over with anyway. So if you don't, if you like, they're looking at your overall and stuff like that. People are still running. People are still not playing games. It's the same thing. And the only thing that's really popping is the three on three, uh, is the three on three pro am. And that's just because you get games back to back to back and you don't have to worry about that stuff. But for me, it wouldn't matter anyway because as soon as the game is over, I'm gonna get kicked out. I'm gonna get a blue screen. We win the game, blue screen, and all that good stuff, man. It, hey, it just, it just is what it is. It's something that has to be addressed. It's sickening, and it just, uh, bro, I, I, I don't know what to do because I can't really play the game. I can barely get footage. Now I did, I was able to get some jump shots for you, and I got some gameplay for you. That's coming up next. But um, and I, and I'm also got the method for how to get your badges. A lot of stuff is coming up today. But you know, it, it is what it is, man. I, I, I just don't know what it is that I need to do to get this right. If you got any tips for avoiding this blue screen over and over, just let me know and I'll, I'll do that. Look, also, we wanna be able to change our takeover. Like, I got a, I got a lockdown. I wanna be able to change it to a shooting, a shooting or a shot creating dude or whatever, like, without having to reset the player. We should not have to reset the player just to, excuse me, we shouldn't have to reset the player just to have just to want to change the takeover i don't even know if that even works but you know it is what it is when you like i know a lot of people chose their player they got their player and now they're not they, they like well dang this takeover ain't what i thought it was i like for it to be this i mean i want to have but i want to have the opportunity to change it on the fly just like you can change your badges once you get them maxed out maybe you have to have you know get take over a few a, a certain number of times then you can get any takeover that you want that would be dope because sometimes you play with people and the ability to change your badges, that's invaluable because I play with my boy Dynamic. Dynamic has a uh, floor general. So I don't need floor general when I play with him, but when I don't play with him, I might I might need floor general. That's dope. But at the same time, let's say if I got another lockdown on my team, then I don't need the lockdown uh, badge. Then I can go with the shooting badge or something. Maybe they need me to shoot this time or something like that. I would really like to see that implemented into the game. I don't know if they're going to do it, but hey, it would be awesome if they did. Also, pick and roll is way different in the game now. It is in the game, and, and the choosing the guy that you want to choose, that's the part that's different. I might have to do a tutorial on that, but it's part of my next video. If you didn't know, pick and roll is one of the dopest things in the game, and I'm saying the, the one where you actually choose the person that you want. The way that you have to do it is this, like this now. Left bumper or L1 or whatever. Once you do that, you're gonna get the quick play call screen. You hit the end, you hit right bumper, excuse me. You hit right bumper, which is the individual um, individual play calling. That brings up everybody. And then you hold the button that corresponds with the person that you want. So if you wanna set a screen from 
from circle, you hit left bumper, right bumper, or L1, then R1, once the, once the screen comes up. You don't have to do it fast, you hit L1, screen comes up, hit R1, and then you hold the button that corresponds with, uh, with the person that you wanna do. Real easy, I'm gonna do a tutorial on that when I show you how to uh, shoot the shots. Um, you can also change the matchup by double tapping the right stick in the direction of the person that you wanna change. It doesn't always work. I told y'all that in the defensive video earlier. Um, you know, it is what it is, it's dope, man. And like I said, man, and last but not least, the, the badge glitch has been patched. If you didn't do it, don't worry about it. If you did do it, it is what it is, man. It's over with now. So all the people that were crying about, hey, you know, people glitching badges, doing this, doing that, it's over with now. Badge glitch is done. You don't have to worry about it. But to me, I think this is a much more important glitch for them to be worried about rather than worrying about a badge glitch and worrying about a VC glitch. I know those are the things that are keeping money. I know those those are things that, that keep the longevity with the game, but when you can't even play the game, like I can't even play the game, I guess you can see my frustration. Why are we fixing badge glitches that two or three people are doing when you have hundreds of thousands of people or 100,000 people or thousands of people that can't play the game? This is why the parks are dead. This is why when you play the game, somebody disappears randomly, all that good stuff. Every time I finish a game, if I win the game, it's over with. This needs to be addressed. My court needs to be addressed. All this stuff needs to be addressed, man. Not a petty badge glitch or a petty VC glitch. They get on those things right away every single time without equivocation, it doesn't matter. They get on them and they fix them every single time as soon as they come out. But me, nah, I still gotta deal with this bad glitch. As, as you can see, my boy Coyote tried to tell me, hey, try going to the cage. I'm showing you guys all of this stuff, man. I just want y'all to see what I go through. I wanted to try to get you guys daily 2K content. I want to try to get videos out, but I just can't do it because I can't play the game. And if I do play the game, I get to play one match and that's it. It's a rapsy scapsy after that. I can't do anything at all, man. So I don't know what we need to do. Hashtag fix 2K. We need to bring that back. Maybe I just need to delete some people off my friends list, but that's just not the solution that I'm seeing. Like I can play other games. This game should be no different. And it's just like this. Look, I tried to do the cage theory, go in the cage because there are fewer people in the cage. As soon as I get in the cage, I walk, I walk to get clear, hit the button, boom blue screen again i'm not doing anything at all so i'm gonna keep playing my career i'm gonna keep doing what i can do if you need somebody to grind your badges man hit me up um instagram twitter whatever because all i can do is play my career i can't do anything else i like to do other things but i can't so if i if all i can do is play my career i might as well play my career for you guys man anyway i gotta get up out of here man hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know if 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 i'm wrong should we be worried about should they have fixed the vc glitch and the uh and the the uh other glitch first the vc and the badge glitch first or do you think this is more important maybe because this is not affecting you hey you know they shouldn't have fixed it first but the badge and the vc glitch ain't affecting you either People gonna have their badges next week anyway. They're not affecting anybody. Fix the badge glitch. But that can't be priority over something like this. If even one person is experiencing something like this, it, it, it's like, bro, come on, man. Like, what am I supposed to do? Like, really, what are we supposed to do, the people that are having this problem, man? Like I said, it's the L of the day, man. L Watch is right here. People in the stream had a huge a very good uh a very good time laughing at me and all that stuff but you know it is what it is anyway man i gotta get up out of here man hope you guys enjoyed the video maybe i'm tripping maybe i'm maybe i just need to to get over it and uh just wait for a patch or something like that but man i done put so much money into this game already just trying to to, to get going it, it, it like it, it don't make sense man now after i play the games i get credit for the games and 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 everything is good but you see what I'm saying? I play the games, I get credit. Everything is good. I got the jump shot credit and all that good stuff too, but I play the game, I get credit, I do everything. But then after that, dog, it's just like, but I, I can't do nothing else, man. I, I, I can't. 
after I, after I play the game and I get my credit, uh, I, I rank up and then boom, blue screen. It is what it is, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I gotta get up out of here until next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Town. Holla!